All right, we're gonna go through the environment controller now in AV Quantum and make sure that we understand all of the options and inputs in there, okay? So we've got temperature, humidity, and pressure to characterize the atmosphere, as well as the, our latitude. Um, now, density altitude is a different way of describing the atmosphere if you wanna do it that way, okay? If you do density altitude, you need to still input a temperature and a humidity, and then in density altitude, you can come in and just say whatever DA that you want. Let's say you, you want 3,000 feet DA at 73 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 degrees humidity, or 40% humidity. Um, you're gonna get that DA, and it's gonna calculate the pressure that's needed to make that DA. So you can input DA and have your fire solution for that, um, but you still also have to specify the temperature. Um, or you could just forget all about density altitude and input temperature, humidity, and pressure manually. Now, there's, there's other ways of getting this information, okay? You can get it from the phone itself, which there's an icon for the phone. So if I push that on pressure, it's gonna use the internal pressure sensor in the phone to give me that number, okay? Staying on pressure, if I use that Wi-Fi signal, that's gonna obtain the environmental data from a signal and input it that way. It's like a weather signal. Um, and if you have a device connected, like I have a Kestrel connected, you'll see the icon for that. And I can touch that and it will put in whatever the Kestrel is measuring at that time that's sending it over. Likewise, we can get humidity that way and we can get temperature from the Kestrel as well. I have a Kestrel on in the room that's connected right now. Um, so all of those ways of getting your environmentals um, as well as your latitude is what you'll find in the environment controller. And um, yeah, for close shots, like if you're shooting 300 yards, you can miss the temperature by five or 10 degrees. It's not gonna be catastrophic. But the further you shoot, the more careful you should be about how accurate these environmental inputs are if you wanna maintain the accuracy of your fire solution to the click. Okay, so that's, uh, that's what we got in the environment tab. Not very complicated, but it's good to see how the different controllers work and the different ways of getting the data in there.